Hey everyone, I'm Mark Snodgrass, and today I wanted to go over how you can use the percent of total features and the mega table and heat map table uh, to create percent of totals on types and subtypes uh, with your data. A couple different ways to do that, and so I want to walk through that with you. So let's get started. <laughs> So I've got here two different um, charts. This is a heat map table, and I'm showing a, kind of a main type and a subtype and broken those up into two different columns and showing the percent for each for that type. And then another way to do that is with the main mega table and using just the status as a column and making these two different rows and showing the uh, percent of total uh, for each of those in there. So wanted to just show you how you can build that out and see if you guys can use whichever works best for you. You may have different situations and may depend what kind of look you want and how you want to go about doing it. So you see all I have here are three columns here, this state column, and then I've created two beast modes, one to calculate the status uh, when it's closed and the status when it's open. And he's going to look at these two columns are going to look very similar here, but I am kind of nesting a few things in here. So if we kind of space this out a little bit, you can see I'm doing a count when this claim status is closed. I'm just going to do a count and then it's going to divide that over using the fixed function field. So I'm going to sum up the count fixed by the state and this data set, it's called the member pool, but and that will let me have kind of a total um, here for when the status is closed for each state. And then this is the overall total for that state. So then I can get that individual percentage. And then the um, open percentage is going to look really similar, except I'm just changing the open status. I'm just looking for that field type and getting a, a count when it sees that. So then I have a percent for each of those. And you see across the board here for the state of Arkansas, they got 40% closed, 60% open, 32, 68 here. Uh, a couple things you can do with the heat map table. There are kind of limited properties. Uh, one, you can change the color and show that if you want to use green or other colors. Other important one in here is the independent column ranges. I find this kind of useful. You can select this and then it's just going to look at and I hate the column individually rather than across um, or overall rather. So it's going to look in this and highlight this high to low based off of just this column and then same. It's going to evaluate the open column separately. So that may be useful to you if that's um, needing to separate out those, um, the heating and how you want that to, to work. So let me, you know, I'll save and close this so you just get a bigger view what that looks like. Um, so it's nice and condensed and you have these as two different columns, but maybe you don't want different columns. Maybe you've got a lot of subtypes. So this would get pretty uh, long, pretty wide if you have, and uh, quite a few beast modes you'd have to uh, build. This one with the mega table does not require any beast modes. If we go in here, so we've got three columns, but we've got that state, we've got the status as a column, and then we're doing this count um, here on really just an ID and we're saying count, but then we're saying show value as percent of column subtotal. This is a newer feature they've added uh, a little while ago. So now you can say, hey, give me the percent of column subtotal. And then once you do that, if you have the show subtotal rows uh, needs to be selected. And the other thing I did was hide the counts because uh, I didn't want the counts to show up here. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. So I hide those counts. So then I have now the subtotals uh, for each of these in here. And I didn't have to use any beast modes. That That's just using the features available in here. And then the heat map, um, I said to color as a heat map, and I used the color theme here. Again, 
It is independent column range, but that's kind of uh, not applicable here since I only have one column that I'm heating. Um, so that's um, kind of worth noting. And that's really all I had to do uh, to pull that off. And what's also nice uh, with the subtotals that you can kind of default things to be collapsed if you want. And you can have some of them collapsed or all of them collapsed. So if we do this real quick, get down to the bottom of our list, then it would start like this. So you've got this, and then you can expand these as you want to look at them so it can make the chart bigger and as long as they don't click on the wrong thing. Got those out. I wish there was an expand all option, but there is not, um, or a collapse all. Maybe that will come in the future, but got those here. And now we're seeing those um, percentages. So. Really, that was qu quick and dirty, uh, not too, too much involved here, um, but to give you two different looks, two different ways to do it, and wanted to make sure you're aware of how to, how to do that. So hope you found that helpful, and feel free to reach out if you have any questions. Thanks a lot.